All right, guys, so in today's video, we're picking up where we left off with the disaster in the 125 gallon when this happened. Far from ideal. And if you didn't check out that video, I'll leave it top right of your screen now, and that'll give you kind of some kind of basis on exactly what happened and what we did last video to prep this tank. However, we drained the tank, tackled it the next day, and definitely made sure that this weren't going to happen again, so let's check it out. Alright, so next day the fish that I had for this tank stayed in this quarantine tank, drained the tank this morning when I first woke up and did all the work on it, put some extra rocks on the piece of wood that floated up, completely unsure how it managed to float up because I've been sinking that piece for probably about a month but some people say online it takes, it takes way longer than that so what happened was definitely not ideal but hopefully this goes smoothly fish room's an absolute mess as you can see everything's ready at this point planted everything we've got plenty of weight on all the wood and hopefully this will this will go better than what it did last time so <laughs> got everything filled up plants are in i'm also getting some plants from another source in the next few weeks so i'll bring you a video on that as well hopefully this looks decent when uh, we get it filled up so Let's start that. Python hose is getting worked. Love this thing, definitely wouldn't be able to have a fish room without it. So far, so good. Water's looking pretty clear as well, even though all the uh, aquasol went all over that was definitely far from ideal. Stacked a lot of this slate on now to make sure it definitely doesn't happen again. So let's fill this bad boy up and see how it looks. So here we are, completely filled up. The wood moved ever so slightly, so I had to move the slates a little bit and I actually added an extra rock in the back as well to keep that big piece down. But really like how it's looking and hopefully it uh, stays like this. So we're just gonna get the filters running, get the heater going, and then add a fish. The first fish that we added was this little Bolivian ram. I've had this guy for about two months now. Everything in this tank should be cycled at this point kept the filter media running and we also added some black neon tetras as you can see here we just added five pretty happy with these and overall the tanks looking decent at this point obviously we're still waiting for everything to grow in but pretty happy with it so far and i also added a cycled sponge filter on this left hand side as well we've also got some snails in there and then some amano shrimp you can see one of the amano shrimps actually de-shedded right on the sponge filter there that looks lovely um plants seem to be growing good we've got co2 hooked in this although it's a tiny little bottle of co2 so we're running at, at half a bubble a second huh? nah probably a bubble every second <laughs> We're also acclimating one of our other fish, and this is actually one of the angel fishes that we've had in this bottom tank for probably about two weeks now. And these other two angel fish will be going in pretty soon. I just wanna make sure that the one angel fish that I'm putting in does well before I put these two in, especially that pearl scale, because he's awesome. So I guess you could say this one other angel fish is, is like a guinea pig, but I think he'll do good, the tetra, and the Bolivian ram have been in here for maybe about two or three days at this point, so let's get him in. So that guy went in pretty well, we'll take a look at him toward the end of the video. We went over the light in the last video, but as you can see for this, specific point i'm using these towels and it just helps to darken both sides of the tank just in case some fish are stressed especially the angel in this situation and he just wants to get to one side of the tank where it's a little bit darker than the center where we've got the plants and the island 
And what do you know, he is chilling on one of these sides right now. Looks to be doing pretty good though. I think he's just sussing out the tank. And until he gets used to it, he'll probably be in the darker areas. But really happy with how this went. Let me know in the comments what you think and what you think to this tank. Once this fully grows in, I'm going to get about 11, 12, 13 different plants in here. And I think it's going to look really, really good. CO2 is popping. A little bit later, the Bolivian Rams looking great. Really like this guy. Got tons of personality and I'll probably get some more dwarf cichlids for this tank as well. Angelfish is doing great as well. Actually really, really like this guy. And as you can see, he's very, very reactive, which is one thing I really like about angelfish as well. They definitely know it's you and know that you're feeding them, which is really, really neat. But overall, really happy with it. He looks to be enjoying his new home. So hopefully that piece of wood stays submerged and we won't have any issues like last time because that was such a pain to drain the tank redo it fill it up and it was definitely nerve-wracking so hopefully this stays like that all the fish in this tank look to be doing really well right now and hopefully that continues i am actually adding sea chem stability to this tank as well just to be extra sure so as well as having the two cycled canister filters that we're putting air through in the last video so make sure you check out that video if you I want to see that and the sponge filter i'm also adding that same night everyone looks to be eating as well as the angel fish so absolutely awesome he's definitely not had any trouble acclimating so hope you've enjoyed this one if you have leave it a like down below comment what you think to this tank and uh, we'll bring you a, a new video on this tank and on this series in the next few days so thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one